Hello everyone, uh, my name is Shine and welcome back to my channel. So today in this video we are going to look at uh, the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador program which was previously known as uh, Microsoft Student Partner program and uh, we are also going to look at the application process as well as the benefits which you get when you are in this program. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you would want to do is go to this website called studentambassadors.microsoft.com and uh, once you type this you would be automatically redirected to this website which is actually the home page of the student ambassador program now if you go to the very top you would see that there's an apply now button and uh, let me just give you a brief overview of how things would look after you are an MSP so I am uh, an MSP from the April cohort April 2020 cohort and uh, this is how my home page dashboard basically looks so if I go to my student partner account uh, you would see that I am currently a beta Microsoft student partner this is the badge basically the milestone like when you achieve more milestones you would be transferred so there are basically four levels so one is uh, alpha 1 then you have alpha 2 then you have beta then you have gold and after gold if you do consistently good amount of work and like you are doing pretty great work you would be given the microsoft mvp title which is the most valuable person in microsoft title so right now i'm a beta microsoft student partner and uh, the more milestones you achieve uh, the more you grow as a microsoft msp basically msa rather now so this is my application status if you take a look at this you would find that this is accepted so this is when I applied because I applied on January uh, the end of January and my application got accepted on late March and I joined the program on 3rd April so this is my application status you or your application status would be uh, submitted and then reviewing so like they would uh, they the review happens quarterly so you would get four chances and uh, once your application is reviewed you would uh, also get a failed or accepted based on how you uh, applied so in this video i'm going to talk about that now once you have applied successfully and you have you have been accepted you would get your msp certificate so this is how it would look for you it would be a different name and your particular uh, msp level msa level so that's about it now let's go back and i'll show you how you can basically apply for the same so the first thing you would notice is this button called apply now at the very home page so you would want to click on that and you'll be redirected to a form basically since i have already filled the form like i have already applied once before it's already pre-filled for me so the thing you would want to go through here is your profile data so you'd have your first name middle name last name gender all the basic stuff and your primary email so this is my primary email which i use for gmail uh, second language, primary language and all of that, uh, your phone number and your address basically. So once you fill all of this, you would uh, be asked your t-shirt size as well as the t-shirt fit. So they generally roll out a t-shirt package, they generally roll out a swag bag which consists of t-shirts, a little bit of notebooks and a few Microsoft swags which you would get after your acceptance, uh, like three or four months or two or three months after your acceptance. That depends so I'm using this picture as a reference since I already have uh, since when I do the save and exit I, I would be redirected to Microsoft Teams where all the information and everything regarding the MSA program happens so this is what you would normally see uh, because I already have a studentpartner.com email ID uh, a domain I would be redirected, redirected directly to the accepted page so there would be a few steps which you need to complete in order to fill the whole application so the first thing you would uh, find is privacy and terms, then personal information, school info, and all these uh, different uh, steps. The most important one is the written sample or the technical skills. So these two make sure that you give a very important, uh, very much uh, importance to these two since they're pretty important. So once you open the privacy and terms, there's nothing that you have to do. Just read through all of this and agree and continue and click on next. In the personal info section, you have to fill your own personal information like first name, last name, what you did exactly in uh, before the save and continue. So the first name, last name, your email ID, give your Gmail for now and the country code as well as a phone number. 
other than that after you fill that you'll find school information so some some of if you don't fill anything you would find that alert uh, symbol don't worry about it just fill everything and that will go away so the school information give your school information like school name country the degree program which you're currently pursuing expected date a year of graduation and the but what uh, month does your semester start after that you would find this written sample which is something that is very important you should be very careful about what you write here so choose your words very carefully and also take examples from other submissions and then make your own so there'll be three uh, choices here that is uh, not choices there'll be three uh, for text fields inspire te teach as well as promote so out of the three you have to you can make videos for all three of them but at least one video is mandatory so you have to create one video uh, submission uh, where you have to talk about whichever field you are submitting for for example if you're submitting for inspire you have to in the video uh, you have to talk about why why, why you are inspired by technology or what inspires you to join the program and what can you do to help students uh, help them learn and something like that so that is the main point which you need to talk about but make sure that if you're talking about uh, if you're creating a video on inspire you should also have at least a few very very few points about teach and promote as well so like uh, what would you do to promote or what would you do, do what would be your choice your methods of teaching just a simple one-liner uh, don't just keep it entirely to inspire they always like it when you go a little broad and talk about those topics as well but not too long just maybe uh, 30 seconds or 20 seconds about them so you your video should be less than or under two minutes and not more than that uh, don't extend it much but if you extend it to like 2.5 or 2.3 I think that's considerable so this is pretty important so what I did is I created a video for inspire since inspiration is something you can talk about a lot and then I wrote about tech, uh, teach and uh, promote. So in teach and promote, you can also give your video like a link to presentation if you have a presentation, uh, if you've created a video. So I would suggest that you write, uh, if, you, if you're not comfortable making videos, that you write uh, most of it, you write most of it and uh, create at least one video, that is the minimum requirement. So in the additional information section, you can see that you have options to provide your Twitter handle, your Instagram account, and uh, there is an option. In here, you will find that if you own any YouTube channel or if you create a technical YouTube channel, then you can provide the link here. If you ha if you write blogs, you can uh, provide the link here. And uh, after you become uh, an MSA, you would still have a reporting option as well, where you would get a Microsoft Office uh, Microsoft form, basically, where you can report the new blogs or new videos you create, and that's how you achieve the milestones so this is basically it and technical skills wh whichever field or domain you are most comfortable in mixed reality iot or mobile development just choose that open source or whatever and then if you have anything else to say you can write it in the text area below and then just submit and that's it that's that's uh, how you submit your application form so once once you are accepted and everything is done, uh, you would get your results mostly after two months, two or two and a half months. And once you are accepted, you would get this screen. So you would get this invitation to Microsoft Teams and it will be very overwhelming at first. Let me tell you, it is really. Uh, you have tons of options. You have Microsoft ML, uh, Microsoft Learn. You have you get tons of options on GitHub. You get pretty, pretty cool GitHub integrations. You get uh, you can join the MSP Teams. And this is where most of the things happen. So the announcement and everything. So let me talk, uh, if I open MS Teams, so let me give you a very brief overview of what goes on into the program and what can you expect from it. So the first thing you'd notice when you go into the Teams is you would find MSP Community, MSP Open and MSP Help. These are the three main channels. So Open is for uh, anything related not related to Microsoft but if you're doing any event or something and you want to promote it then you can go to MSP open it's basically an open culture MSP community is all the members of the MSA program who are into the community and uh, the, it basically has an announcements or different channels so like if I go into it you would find tons of channels like you have dotnet artificial intelligence DevOps mixed reality and there are tons of others uh, you know they have region wise as well and there's tons of more options you can figure out the cool thing about it is you get insider programs as well and extra cloud advocate sessions. So actually My Microsoft Cloud Advocates, they come and teach you uh, weekly. So maybe uh, alternate weekdays, uh, week weekends, maybe in alternate weekends, they would uh, 
organize a Teams meeting and where they would talk about uh, Microsoft technologies and C Sharp or .NET. And it's pretty amazing. So that's something you get uh, when you're into the program. And this tons of other things you get. This is one of them. You get uh, you uh, whatever activity you're performing. So if you're hosting an event or doing something, then you can also go ahead and report them. You would find that in report MSP activity, and then you can report your stuff here. You can plan on online engagements, and there are some benefits which I'll be talking about right now. So there are basically five benefits which you have, which you get with this program. Apart from the main five, I, I mean the main five, you would get tons of others as well. But the main five is the Office 365 subscription. So this is something you get uh, right out of the box when you join the program. So you have a full subscription of Office 365, so you can use uh, uh, so you can use uh, MS Office, the whole bundle, so you'd get Excel and uh, PowerPoint and everything for free when you join this program. Uh, uh, apart from that, you also get Snagit and Camtasia subscription. So you can do uh, amazing video editing with these both tools. Since, you would make, since you're making videos, you would require some kind of a video editor as well. So they provide you with Snagit as well as Camtasia, so whichever you want to choose. Uh, you get Visual Studio subscription and this considers uh, Enterprise Edition as well. So you have Visual Studio subscription for Mac, uh, the Enterprise Edition for Mac as well as for Windows and tons of others. Uh, this I'll be talking in a little bit of more details uh, in a few minutes. You get uh, 150 monthly credits in Azure, so since most of Microsoft development happens in Azure since uh, this is a cloud service provider. You get 150 monthly credits in Azure and then you can use it to do a lot of amazing stuff. You have tons of amazing options in Azure. Spending $150 is not that easy in Azure, so you that, that, that is like a lot of uh, resource that you can access inside in, in one month basically. Apart from that, you get Subway Catering which is uh, temporarily suspended as of now because of COVID-19 but uh, as soon as this gets over and this pandemic stops, I hope this resumes. So basically what it does is you can make requests uh, to the to the MSAs, uh, basically to the higher authorities and uh, they would uh, see if whatever offer you have available and you can like basically request for subway catering if you're doing a physical event. Uh, you can also do expense reimbursement, so if you're planning an event which is uh, which would require some kind of a payment or which would require any kind of an investment from your side, so your side uh, you can uh, ask Microsoft to reimburse that event for you. So these are like a very basic high level overview of what you get a very 1% overview of what you get when you join the program. There's tons of more stuff that goes on like there's hands-on calls, you can join the Discord servers, you can create amazing friends, you can host sessions with all of them, uh, play games, play AI, AI games, so they have Microsoft AI tournaments and there's tons of pretty fun stuff. Apart from that, let me talk about the Visual Studio benefits. So if you go to visualstudio.microsoft.com slash benefits, you would find that there are tons of benefits that you can actually opt for. So right now I'm not even signed in and you can also go in here and you can see for yourself that it's not just limited to MSPs. So uh, the, if you go to tools, you would see that you get Visual Studio Enterprise and Enterprise for Mac, you get Azure DevOps Server and uh, Parasoft as well as Wide Source Bolt. If you go to just Azure, you would get only Azure related benefits. So like monthly credit, which you uh, get uh, when you join the program, you would have it inside of your account section. So you would see that you can activate it right there. Uh, this is something which comes pretty out of the box when you join the program. Apart from that, you get dev or test pricing. You get different plans, basically. In software, you get uh, Windows software for production, servers, in services, you get Power BI, you get Microsoft 365, you get cost highlight, and basically you can go ahead and check it out you, you get cloud pilot as well which is pretty nice if uh, you you get two licenses for 90 days but this is something which is very useful for a lot of people so there there are tons of options that they give you so these are benefits that you would get when you join the program if you head on to the training section you would get linkedin learning uh, as well as linkedin premium uh, so you you would get six months premium when you join the program and you it's not right activated you have to activate it yourself so these everything you have to activate yourself. You get six months subscription on plural side as well, data camp, three months data camp subscription, as well as code magazine. So code magazine, if you do not know, is like a magazine which is physically delivered to you if you're in the US. But if you're not in the US, you can avail a digital version. Other than that, you get a support section, you get tons of support from the Microsoft community. So you have Windows technical support, you have Azure community support, and you have a chat which is available 24 seven. 
so yes that's something you get with the program so this is like a very basic overview of what you get when you join the program apart from this there are tons of different options which i can talk about so there is microsoft learn which is like an amazing resource to start your learning journey so you have uh, learn you have channel line and you have basically more and tons of other things which i can talk about so let me know in the comment section that if you want me to talk about those if you want to prepare for msa application or if you want to prepare for microsoft then what should you like which other different resources uh, so i would love to make another video on it so let me know in the comment section if you if that is something that you would want to watch uh, so that's it about this video i would be attaching a few resources uh, from the official microsoft blogs about the uh, microsoft student partner program as well as the uh, admission process uh, so that's it for from my side have a good day all of you and thanks for watching